West Kalimantan, Indonesian, Kalimantan Barat, Malay, Klimtan Bart Chinese, Shi Ja Li Mandan Hakka, Si Ka Li Mantan, Teochew, Sai Jia Li Mandang, is a province of Indonesia. It is one of five Indonesian provinces in Kalimantan, the Indonesian part of the island of Borneo. Its capital city is Pontianak. The province has an area of 147,307 square kilometers with a recorded 2010 census population of 4,395,983. Ethnic groups include the Dayak, Malay, Chinese, Javanese, Bugis, and Madaris. The latest official estimate as of January 2014 is 4,546,439. The borders of West Kalimantan roughly trace the mountain ranges surrounding the watershed of the Kapus River, which drains most of the province. The province shares land borders with central Kalimantan to the southeast, east Kalimantan to the east, and the Malaysian territory of Sarawak to the north. West Kalimantan is an area that could be dubbed the province of a thousand rivers. The nickname is aligned with the geographical conditions that have hundreds of large and small rivers that which can be and often are navigable. Several major rivers are still the main route for freight to the hinterland, despite road infrastructure now reaching most districts. Although a small part of West Kalimantan region is sea water, West Kalimantan has dozens of large and small islands mostly uninhabited, spread along the Karamata Strait and Natuna Sea that borders the province of Riau Islands. The total population in the province, according to the 2000 census totaled 4.07343 million inhabitants, 1.85% of Indonesia's population. History The history of West Kalimantan can be traced back to 17th century. Dayaks were the main inhabitants of the province before the 17th century. The Malays migrated to West Kalimantan and established their own sultanates. The high Chinese population in this province was due to a republic founded by Chinese miners called Lanfang Republic Lan Fang Gong He Guo Republic Lanfang, after they defeated the local Malay sultans. The government of Lanfang Republic was ended in West Kalimantan after the Dutch occupation in 1884. West Kalimantan was under Japanese occupation from 1942 to 1945, when Indonesia declared its independence. During the Japanese occupation, more than 21,000 people in Pontianak, including sultans, men, women, and children, were kidnapped, tortured, and massacred by Japanese troops during the Pontianak incidents. All the Malay sultans on Kalimantan were executed and the Malay elite was devastated by the Japanese. The massacre occurred from April 23, 1943 to June 28, 1944 and most of the victims were buried in several giant wells in Mandar, 88 kilometers from Pontianak. Allied forces occupying the area after the war found several thousand bones, and more than 60 years after the massacre, several secret graves of the victims were found in Mandar and the surrounding areas. After the end of war, the Japanese officers in Pontianak were arrested by Allied troops and brought in front of an international military tribune. During the trial, it was revealed that the plan to start the rebellion did not exist and instead was only an imaginary plan created by Japanese officers who wanted to get promoted. A monument called Makam Wang Mandar was created to commemorate this tragic event. West Kalimantan was the site of substantial fighting during the Indonesia Malaysia confrontation under the Sukarno government in the mid 1960s. After Suharto deposed Sukarno in 1965, the confrontation was quickly resolved. Domestic conflict continued, however, for another 10 years between the new military Suharto government and fighters organized during the confrontation and backed by the banned Indonesian Communist Party PKI. See Indonesian killings of 1965-66. During the 1930s the Dutch colonial powers initiated a transmigration plan to move people from heavily populated islands such as Java, to the less populated islands of Irian Jaya and Kalimantan. In the 1960s the Indonesian government granted the Madaris rights to clear forests for palm oil cultivation. This conflicted with the local Dayak tribe's traditional way of life. The tensions between the two ethnic groups resulted in major eruptions of violence in 1996, the Sambas riots in 1999 and the Sampit conflict in 2001, resulting in thousands of deaths. Geography 
Boundary West Kalimantan Province is located in the western part of the island of Borneo, or in between the lines 2 degrees 08. In and 3 degrees 05. S and between 108 degrees 0. E and 114 degrees 10. E. The province is traversed by the equator, latitude 0 degrees, precisely through the city of Pontianak. West Kalimantan has a tropical climate, with often high temperatures accompanied by high humidity. Other specific characteristics is that the West Kalimantan region including one of the provinces in Indonesia which is directly adjacent to another country on land, namely the state of Sarawak, East Malaysia. Even with this position, West Kalimantan is currently the only province in Indonesia that have officially had access road to get in and out of a neighboring country. West Kalimantan and Sarawak have open roads approximately 400 kilometers long, spanning Pontianak in Taikong Kuching, Sarawak, Malaysia, and can be reached about six to eight hours of travel. In the northern part of the province, there are four regencies that directly borders Malaysia, namely Sambas, Sangha, Sintang and Kapis Hulu, which stretch along the Kalingkong Mountains Kapis Hulu. Most areas of West Kalimantan is a low-lying land with an area of 146,807 square kilometers, or 7.53% of the total Indonesian or 1.13 times the size of the island of Java. This region stretches straight from north to south along more than 600 kilometers and about 850 kilometers from west to east. Judging from the size of the territory, West Kalimantan is Indonesia's third largest province by area, after Papua 421,891 square kilometers and Central Kalimantan 152,600 square kilometers. The largest regency is Ketapang 35,809 square kilometers or 24.39%, followed by Kapis Hulu 29,842 square kilometers or Parisan 2033, and Sintang 21,635 kilometers or 14.74%, while the rest spread over nine, nine regencies. Topology in general, West Kalimantan land is low-lying and has hundreds of rivers are safe when navigable, slightly hilly which extend from west to east along the valley Kapis and Natuna Seat Strait Karamata. Most of the land area is swampy mix of peat and mangrove forests. The land area is flanked by two mountain ranges, namely, Kalingkong Mountains in the north and the Schwainer Mountains in the south along the border with the province of central Kalimantan. Judging from the soil texture, the majority of West Kalimantan area consists of the soil type PMK, Potsilay Red Yellow, which covers an area of about 10.5 million hectares, or 17.28% of the total area of 14.7 million hectares. Next, the ground OGH, Orgasol, Glee and Humus, and the alluvial soil of about 2.0 million hectares, or 10.29% sprawled across Daddy 2, but most likely in the coastal district. Influenced by the vast lowlands, the heights of the mountains are relatively low as well as non-active. The highest mountain is Mount Bataraya in district Sarawai, Sintang which has an altitude of 2,278 meters above sea level, far lower than Mount Semeru, East Java, 3,676 meters, or Mount Karansi, Jambi, 3,805 meters. Mount Lawit located in Kapis Hulu, district. Mbalo Hulu and more formerly known in West Kalimantan, only occupies the third highest because it has a high 1,767 meters, while the second highest is Mount Batisambing, subdistrict Ambalau, with a height of up to 1,770 meters. Lakes and rivers West Kalimantan is an area that could be called the Thousand Rivers Province. The nickname is in line with the geographical conditions that have hundreds of large and small rivers, among others, can be and often are navigable. Several major rivers is still the lifeblood and main line to transport the countryside, although the road infrastructure has been able to reach most districts. The main large rivers are the Kapis River, which is also the longest river in Indonesia, 1,086 kilometers, which along 942 kilometers are navigable. 
The Great Rivers are, Malawi, navigable 471 km, Pawan, 197 km, Kentawangan, 128 km, Jelai, 135 km, Sekadao, 117 km, Sambas, 233 km, and Landak, 178 km. Although rivers have very prominent numbers in West Kalimantan, there are only two significant lakes in the province. Both lakes are Lake Sentaram and Lake Luari that are in Kapis Hulu. Lake Sentaram has an area of 117,500 hectares, which sometimes is almost dry in the dry season, and Lake Luari, which has an area of approximately 5,400 hectares. Both of these lakes have potential as a tourist attraction. Administrative divisions West Kalimantan is subdivided into two cities Kota, and 12 regencies Kabupaten. About 29% of the province's population lives in the Pontianak area. The capitals and populations of the regencies and cities are Notes The use of included signifies that the regency was formed after 2000, and its population in 2000 has been included with that of the older regency from which it was taken. In 2003 Sekadao Regency was cut out of Sangaw Regency and Malawi Regency was cut out of Sintang Regency. In 2007 North Kayong Regency was cut out of Ketapang Regency, while Kubu Raya Regency was cut out of Mempawa Regency. Above excludes a special enclave, Daira Kantong, with 5,469 population in 2010. Proposed new province of Kapus Raya on 25 October 2013, the Indonesian House of Representatives DPR began reviewing draft laws on the establishment of 57 prospective regencies and eight new provinces. One of the proposed provinces is Kapus Raya Great Kapus, in West Kalimantan. If the bill is approved, this will make Kapus Raya the fourth largest province in Indonesia after Papua, East Kalimantan and Central Kalimantan, as the total area of Kapus Raya, encompassing five regencies, will measure 80,432 square km, or 54.79% of the current size of West Kalimantan. Ever since 2005, the five regencies in the eastern part of West Kalimantan Sangha, Sekadao, Sintang, Malawi and Kapus Hulu have floated a concept to establish Kapus Raya due to the distance issues from the respective regencies to the province capital Pontianak. The distance between the farthest regency of Kapus Hulu and Mempawa is 661 km, followed by Malawi 439 km, Sintang 395 km, Sekadao 315 km, and Sangha 267 km. Ecology There are three national parks in the province, Danau Sentaram, Gunning Palung and Betting Karahan. Currently, illegal logging for trees such as dipterocarp and plantations of palm oil and pulpwood threaten many rare species in the province due to the effects of habitat destruction. Peat bog fires and droughts or flooding during ENSO episodes also threaten the area and are worsened by ongoing deforestation. Dr. Hotlin Ampasungu has received the 2011 Whitley Award for her conservation work in West Kalimantan. She has been fighting against illegal logging by trade-off with low-cost quality dental and medical treatment to 60,000 villagers on condition they involve in reforestation and conservation work. Demographics Ethnic group the most dominant ethnicity in West Kalimantan, the Dayak and Malays the Dayaks are tribes in the hinterland, while the ethnic Malay majority live in coastal areas. The third largest ethnic group is the Javanese 9.74%, which has a base settlement in transmigration areas. In fourth place are ethnic Chinese 8.17%, which is widely available in urban areas such as Singkawang and Pontianak. Next in fifth place, namely the Madaris 6.27%, which has a base settlement in Pontianak and Kubu Raya. 
the largest ethnic sixth to ten namely Bugis 3.13%, Sundanese 1.13%, Batak 0.60%, Daya 0.52%, and Banjar 0.33%, and other tribes 1.33%. Language Indonesian is a language commonly used by people in West Kalimantan. Besides language interface, namely Pontianak Malay, Sambas Malay and Senganan language distribution by region. Likewise, there are various types of Dayak languages, according to the Institute. S. Research Dayakology 188 dialects are spoken by the Dayak and Chinese languages such as Teochew and Kek Paka. Dialects which are intended to Dayak tribe's language is so much resemblance to Malay, only the most different at the end of words such as Makan, Malay, Makadan, Kanayatan, Makai, Aban, and Makat, Melahui. Especially for Ot Danam language, the language may be said to stand alone and is not a dialect of other Dayak groups. Dialect, however, lies in some sub Uut Danam Dayak tribe itself. As the subtribe language Doi, for example, to say eat only consists of a minimum of 16 vocabulary, ranging from the most delicate to the most rugged. For example, Ingalasit was fine, germ, general, dekik for older or respected, nanahik rough, monarak the rough, and maka for the spirits of the dead. Malay in West Kalimantan consists of several types, including Malay Malay Pontianak and Sambas. Malay Pontianak itself has the same dialect with the language Sarawak Malay, Malaysia Malay and Riau Malay. Religion According to the 2010 census majority of people embraced Islam in West Kalimantan 59.22%. Muslim majority areas in West Kalimantan as inhabited coastal regions are majority Malays as Sambas, Mempawa, Ketapang, North Kayong, Kubu Raya, Kapis Hulu and Pontianak. In Malawi and Singkawang approximately 50% of the population are Muslims. Islam is also practiced by Javanese, Madaris and Bugis located in West Kalimantan. In rural areas inhabited by the Dayak predominantly Christian as in Bengayang, Landak, Sangha, Sintang and Sekadao. The Chinese in the West Kalimantan mostly adheres to Buddhism and Christianity, Catholic, Protestant. Culture Traditional dance Tari Manang, Manang is a traditional dance of West Kalimantan society. This dance is a healing dance. When there are people who are sick but do not heal, usually the family will hold Tari Manang, Manang. The dancer will act as a shaman healer who issued a special spell. Thus, the patient will be motivated to get better. Tari Zapin Tembing is a type of as a social dance in the communities of West Kalimantan. Tari Menora Gata is traditional dance which describes the motion of life of rural communities in West Kalimantan that meet their daily needs. Based on the idea that dance is worked by elements of dance movement Malay and Dayak in West Kalimantan. Tari Mandau is a dance which symbolizes the fighting spirit of the Dayak community in defense of the dignity and status. Traditional clothes West Kalimantan men wore traditional clothing in the form of headgear decorated with feathers of hornbills, sleeveless shirt, vest, knee-length trousers and fabric that serves as a belt. Usually, West Kalimantan men also wore jewelry, such as a beaded necklace. Women usually wear cloth covering the chest, as well as layers of fabrics which serves as setogen and woven fabrics. Jewelry worn in the form of hornbill feathers as a headdress, beaded necklace and bracelet on the arm. This custom clothing comes from the Dayak tribe. Traditional weapon Mandau is a traditional weapon commonly used by people in West Kalimantan. Mandau is a kind of machete and some Mandau are used for everyday purposes. Other weapons are a shield, blowgun, spear, and sickle. Mandau is used for the purposes of war, decorated with human hair as a symbol of courage. The shield, which is called Kalikit has a size of a full-sized man with ornate carvings in black and red. Other weapons are blowpipe with arrows tipped with poison sap of a tree called Ipo. Traditional houses One of the cultural house in West Kalimantan is called Ruma Panjang longhouse, because its size length and made of wood. This house is the residence of the Dayak tribe. The function of this custom home is actually a place to stay for a couple of heads of families and also usually used for meetings. 
They can also be found in other provinces of Kalimantan as well as the neighboring Sarawak in Malaysia. Rumah Radaking, which is also a kind of longhouse located in Pontianak and the surrounding area. This house has a length of approximately 380 meters high and 7 meters including the most luxurious custom home in West Kalimantan in the meantime. Rumah Batak is a traditional house that is owned by the Dayak tribe Badaya. This house has a unique shape because it has a round shape and height of up to approximately 12 meters to the top. Malay traditional house is a house owned by ethnic Malays, which is located in the city of Pontianak. This traditional houses are usually used as a place of deliberation, performing arts, wedding place citizens and other events. Festivals Robo Robo Tradition. Robo Robo derived from the Robo or Rabu, Wednesday. Robo Robo Tradition held on the last Wednesday of Safar based on the Islamic calendar, which symbolizes a blessing. According to the story, this rite is a warning or trail the arrival of Prince Mas Surya Negara of the Kingdom Madan, Martapura, to the Kingdom of Mempawa, Pontianak. The ritual begins when the king, Queen Mempawa, sons and daughters and the retainer and the guard departed from Castle Village, Mempawa use Bidar Boat, the boat kingdom of Amantubala Palace. The ship will sail to the mouth of the river Mempawa located in the village of Kuala Mempawa with a distance of about one hour. At the river mouth will do some sort of ceremony welcome to the sea as when Opu Dang Menemban arrived at the river mouth for the first time. Robo Robo itself was intended as a warning Holland series of important events began on Monday night to Tuesday, the last month of Safar in order to commemorate the death of Opu Dang Menemban. For the citizens of Bugis descent in the ordinance, Robo Robo usually celebrated with family meals at home. Not only at home, eating together also carried students in various schools both elementary to high school on Wednesday morning. Notes references J. Braithwaite, B. Braithwaite, M. Cookson and L. Dunn, Anime and Violence, Non-Truth and Reconciliation in Indonesian Peacebuilding, Inu E. Press, 2010, 1, Davidson, Jamie S. and Douglas Common, 2002. Indonesia's Unknown War and the Lineages of Violence in West Kalimantan. Indonesia 73-53. Yuan, Bing Ling, 1999. Chinese Democracies, A Study of the Kongsis of West Borneo, 1776-1884. External links In English, Go West Kalimantan http colon slash slash www.goarchy.com slash arco slash provinces slash w dash kalim slash w dash kalimtor dot html in English, Kalimantan as a tourism destination http colon slash slash www.extremeborneo.com slash Kalimantan underscore destinations html In English, gold diggers, farmers, and traders in the Chinese districts of West Kalimantan, Indonesia https colon slash slash books.google Com, books, it equals 4WK2S2 Aghik and PG equals PA34 and source equals GBS underscore selected underscore pages and CAD equals 3 hash V equals 1 page and Q and F equals false.